Hello everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kearney's YouTube channel. So today in this video, we'll show you how to stretch your lower body. So these stretches will help to increase range of motion and flexibility of your joints and muscles. And as well, it can help alleviate some tension and help untighten some of those tight muscles you might be having. So for these stretches, you're going to be doing them for 15 to 30 seconds on both sides if applicable. And as well, you're going to be repeating these stretches two to three times. And just a note that if you feel any pain or discomfort during any point of your stretch, to please stop um, your stretch because we don't want you to hurt yourselves. Um, what we want to do is to take those muscles into that end range so you feel a little bit of tension, you feel a little bit of fullness, but if at any point you feel pain, discomfort, please stop your stretch. This stretch is called the Cobra Pose and it stretches out your abdomen. So you want to start by lying flat on the ground on your stomach with your arms to the side. Then slowly raise your upper body and arch your back to a comfortable position. You should feel the stretch in your abdomen. Hold this position for 30 seconds. So now we're gonna focus on some trunk stretches that will stretch a couple of lower back areas, including the back, abdomen, and obliques. So the stretch that I'll now be demonstrating is for the back and it's a simple seated torso twist. So you're gonna to wanna to get into a cross-legged position like so, and then bend your right knee like this, and cross your right leg over and place your foot next to your left thigh. So you should feel as though you're sitting in a tight half cross-legged position. You can twist to the side to really feel the stretch. So this stretch targets the lower back and obliques. You're gonna hold each stretch for 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds has passed, you're gonna switch sides to make sure you get both sides. So same thing on the left side, bend your left knee, uh, bend your left knee, and then place, the next, place your foot next to your right thigh, and then you're gonna twist, and then you're gonna hold out for 30 seconds. So once 30 seconds goes by, you're gonna switch sides again, and you're gonna make sure you do two to three um, sets per uh, each of these stretches. The next stretch is called a seated lateral stretch. This will help relax your oblique muscles. So you wanna start seating it in a comfortable position, then lean over to one side with one arm, raise the opposite arm, and lean over and stretch your body. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Okay, and then you just repeat on the other side. So lean over, raise your arm, and stretch. Again, hold for 30 seconds. You should feel it in the sides of your stomach. Hi, so the next exercise we're going to be doing are called kneeling hip floor flexors, and this will really target your hip flexor muscles. So before we start, I'd recommend you get anything that will cushion your knee, such as a yoga mat, a towel, or a blanket, and this will be used to put our under our knee while we're doing the exercise. So I also recommend that you have something that you can use as support, such as a wall, a chair, a table, anything around you that you can hold on to if you need some stability. And so we're going to place one of our legs out and keep the other one back and we'll start off with it at a 90 degree angle. And we'll keep our body as straight as possible while doing the exercise, keeping your back straight instead of hunching it forward and try to keep all of your weight on your back leg as you do it. Next, we'll put both of our hands right above our knee and we'll lean into this front leg, trying to still keep most of our weight on the back because that's how you'll really feel the stretch in your hip flexors. So just hold this to 20 to 30 seconds and if you can't hold it for that long, no problem at all, you can just switch on over to the other side when you're ready. And you can of course use the wall as a support, just keeping one hand on your knee. And then switch on over to the other side when you're ready. Again, trying to keep your body as straight as possible while doing the exercise and keeping your weight on the back. So for our next stretch, we're gonna be targeting our glute muscles to the muscles of our butt. And those are really important for our hip movement. So that's why I want to make sure um, the glute muscles are not tight. So to begin, you'll have to sit on the ground. If you're sitting on a hard surface, I recommend 
having a towel or yoga mat underneath you to provide more support. But once you're ready, get into position by bringing your knees up like this. And then you're gonna bring one leg and cross it over your other leg's thigh. Just like this, making an L shape. And then you're gonna lean back um, with both hands supporting you at your back like this. And you're gonna hold that position for about 15 to 30 seconds. And once that 15, 30 seconds is up, you're gonna switch over to the other leg. So bring, again, bring our leg, crossing it over with the thigh, making that L shape, and then leaning back for 15 to 30 seconds. You'll feel that stretch right along here. And after 15 to 30 seconds, you can repeat on both sides two to three times. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing us a stretch that we can all be using for our IT bands to increase, increase range of motion as well as to increase flexibility. So without further ado, we can get started. If you're following along, just start in a standing position. And this is nice and easy. What we can do is we can start by taking our right leg and just crossing it over our left. And then we're going to take our hands and reach for our toes or as far down as we can get. And we're going to want to hold this for 30 seconds. And when you're done with that, you can stand up and we'll do the same with the opposite leg. So take your left leg and cross it over your right leg this time. And once again, take those hands and reach for your toes. We'll hold for another 30 seconds. The next stretch we're gonna do is a quadricep stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring one knee out to the front, making a right angle with it. And you're gonna kind of shimmy your other knee to the back a little bit more. And you're gonna bring the foot that's at the back up, holding either your toes or your ankle, whatever is most comfortable, and kind of pulling it towards your butt. And you're gonna feel the stretch right there in your quads. If you need help balancing, you can always grab like either a chair or a couch that's beside you and just use that to position yourself. And you're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. And to reposition, you just bring back to the kneeling position. And then again, bring one knee out to the front, making that right angle, and shimmy the other knee back just a tad. And then grabbing your back foot and pulling it forward. And you're gonna make sure every time you do this, you repeat it for both sides to make sure both quadriceps are getting a proper stretch. We're going to be doing the towel hamstring stretch. So like the name suggests, you need to find a towel that you'll be using during the stretch. What you want to do to start off is to hold both ends of the towel with your hands and to bring the middle of the towel to the sole of one of your foot. So be on the leg that you'll be stretching. Once that happens, lie down on the ground. You can do this on the ground or on a bed if that's more comfortable. And you're going to extend your leg up towards the ceiling so your foot is as parallel as you can get it with the ceiling. Once you're in that position, you're gonna pull on both ends of the towel. You feel a nice stretch right here on the back of your thigh. Hold it for 15 to 30 seconds. Once you're done, come back down and we're gonna do the other leg. So again, we're gonna extend our leg towards the ceiling, try to get our foot parallel with the ceiling. Then pull on both ends of the towel, hold it for 15, 30 seconds. And once you're done, you can repeat it two to three times. So for this stretch, you're going to sit on the floor with your legs about hips width apart. You're going to flex your toes back towards you, reach out towards your toes with your arms, reach up and then grab your foot as far as you can and try to get your chest down to the floor. We're going to just hold this position. Um, we're going to slowly come up and we're going to do this again. Reach out towards your toes. Come up. 
and then slowly go down and reach as far as you can. You want to keep your toes flexed towards you, and you should feel straight on the back of your calves. And then come up slowly again, and then for the last time, again, reach towards your toes, come up and reach as far as you can. And we're going to try to go as low as we can for the last time. 